Where we last left off, we tore off everything, we cleaned it all, we took everything out, we <laughs> stripped all the old decals off, sanded it down, painted both sides. The bottom side we painted with the polyurethane that we hope is gonna work out, we don't really know yet. And top we painted with a base coat. And the top didn't turn out as good as the bottom. It got a lot of dirt in it. I just didn't really like that base coat I used and it just caused a lot of dirt and waves and stuff to get in the clear coat. Yeah, I won't be using that base coat again. It's just, if I really wanted it to turn out well, I would sand the top back off and then repaint it with something else. But a lot of it's gonna get covered with the wrap we're gonna use. And right now, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap this one and then maybe start working on this one. But our main focus is on this wrap. This wrap is very similar to the last wrap I put on my SP. It is just different colors. So my other graphic was mainly purple and uh, green and reds and had a bunch of other different colors but this is like more of a lighter color I, I really like how it looks i really like that wrap i just think it looks really cool way more modern so that's why i bought a similar one that's just a little bit different with different colors and i think it's going to look really cool because it's all black and the other one was all white so i think it may maybe give a different effect but we're gonna see how it looks so let's go ahead and crack into it and start putting it on All right, wrap is done. It looks freaking awesome. I really like this wrap. Really like the colors, it really pops. Uh, still has that whole retro look with these whole neon colors, the older pinks and yellows, but it looks a little bit more modern from the black and everything. I think it looks really cool. I think I even like it better than my other wrap because the other one wrap has like more reds and greens. This one, I like the pinks and yellows. It looks really cool. So this one's pretty much done. The only thing left, I need to paint the hood, uh, handle bar covers, the other gas cap and some vents and stuff pretty easy. I think I'm going to paint the hood either yellow or blue to kind of match this. The vents will probably go yellow or blue or pink or something to kind of match the wrap. I don't want it to be all black. The handlebars might be just stay black because that's like the easiest to paint them. But for the most part, this thing's pretty much done and be ready to put back together. Now for this one on the other hand, I think I'm going to repaint it. There's just a lot of trash in this one. Way more than that one had. A ton of trash in it, especially right here. And some of these areas are going to be shown because I'm going to do like a green, neon green and white wrap to it. It's just my own little design. And a lot of it's going to be black showing and I don't want all this dirt showing up. I think it's going to look really bad and 
I want to do it right the first time, so I'll sand it down real quick and repaint it along with like other stuff I need. Some of these vents on this side are actually going to stay green. Like this vent's already green. This gas, these gas caps are already green. So a lot of that's going to stay the color. The hood's probably going to get a black paint job because I'm going to wrap it along with the rest of it. Same thing with the handlebars. I'm probably going to paint that black and put some wrap on it maybe. Not really sure yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my whole design. I have it pictured in my head. I just not really sure which way which route i want to go so yeah i'm gonna repaint this one real quick just letting you know that Painting is all done. It looks really good. This whole jet ski turned out so much better. I, it was really bothering me with all that dirt in it, especially since I'm wrapping it and there's gonna be a lot of black showing. Definitely came out way better. I don't know what it was last time, but there's a ton of dirt in it, but it all looks really good now. Talking about these parts, I just used spray paint for the base coat. I didn't wanna go out and buy like expensive automotive base coat to match the color. So I just found these in spray paint. They're very close to matching uh, these colors on here, the blue and pink. Just a little bit lighter, but the blue is really close. I had to do a little bit of work to these. Like I had to make these holes just a little bit smaller to fit my GPS speedometer in them. So, I mean, that wasn't super hard. Just use some plastic epoxy and then kind of drill it out a little bit. Works really good, slips right in there. I'll have to put those in before I install these back on the jet skis.
Other than that, it turned out really good. The only problem is I kind of ran the clear coat a little bit on the sides of these. It's not a big deal because I can get them out once it cures. I can cut and buff them. Not a big deal. I just, it was a weird angle for me spraying right here because I didn't want to hit the hood and I didn't want to hit this piece too. It's a weird angle, so I didn't really get a good coat on it. Ran it a little bit, no big deal. I can get those out. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all this stuff out together. I'm gonna put the, I only have one GPS right now, so I'm gonna put the one GPS in the blue one and put all this back together. Put this one completely back together, then start piecing this one together so I can start working on my wrap design for it. That's what's up next, so let's do it. Now look at how cool this thing looks. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is like a cotton candy style. It still has that retro look, but also more modern. It's pretty much uh, pa back together besides like all the internals, obviously. Uh, not really missing anything. I don't think I need anything else for it. Uh, I had all these little buttons. I already had those. And I started putting together this ski and I got some of it on, but I realized I was missing this button. And I'm also still missing the speedometer, so I don't want to throw all that on yet and have to take it back off just to put the speedometer in. So I'm going to hold off on this one. And also, there's another big thing I messed up. I ordered this color for part of the wrap, and it's just way off. It doesn't look anything close to that. So I'm going to try to find another material that's close to this green, like this neon green color. I don't want it to be like a really off color, especially with these vents and stuff. So instead of putting this one together, I'll save this for another video and I'll just finish up working on this one. I have the seat cover coming in so I can go ahead and install that, put the seat on, and then I can just clean it up a little bit. I also have these floor mats coming in so I can go ahead and put the floor mats on and I guess start working on the inside too. I don't, I don't really know. I'm just going to get the seat done and then that done and maybe I'll save all that for its own episode, just putting all the internals back in because I'm going to have to pull this back on the trailer and stuff, and it's just a lot of work if I have to pull it back off again for whatever reason. So I'm going to finish putting this back together, seat cover, other little things, and then probably call it a day in this episode. But this looks so good. Even this cover looks really cool. The whole black and pink look. 
especially looking at it like kind of right here you can see like the other blue and pink going together i think it looks really cool yeah i'm really i really like how this turned out i hope you guys do too Okay, quick little update. I actually just got these things delivered in, so I was gonna install them, but uh, I didn't realize it wasn't the glue, or it wasn't like the stick down side. It, you have to have like a cement glue to glue them down, which is no big deal, I was gonna, it's no, it's no big deal. But when I dumped it out, it was missing the two front ones. And I was like, maybe this one didn't really come with two front ones. So I looked it up and yeah, it's supposed to have it. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna email them, and maybe get my money back or something, I don't know but I need some with the, the front one because it looks really weird with it missing. Yeah, just a little update, just gotta be careful. And you know me, just bad luck with shipping in general. So, I don't know. I guess we'll <laughs> wait for something else. Guys, this looks so sick. It turned out way better than I thought it would. I gave it a quick little wash and it looks really awesome. There's a couple things I wanna talk about. The seat, best quality so far. This has been really easy. It was, it was like all cut out, like it has a uh, sew lines, right where you need to put them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this was the, like the most expensive seat I bought, but it was definitely the best cover. It, super easy to cover. Didn't really have to stretch it or anything. It all laid pretty flat. I also want to add another sticker right up here. You can kind of see the sea logo kind of sticking out right here. I'm going to put like a yellow decal over that. Maybe a couple other ones to go along with the design. Just to make it all match just a little bit better. But it looks really cool. I think a yellow sea logo will look really cool right there. Kind of finish it off. But other than that, this thing is pretty much done. I need to add the letters to the identification numbers. I'll do that eventually too when this thing's all done and put back together. That's all going to be for maybe next episode, maybe then one after that, because I want to get this other one done too and all the decals on it. So I ordered the rest of the stuff I need for that, and that will be probably next episode. This looks really freaking awesome. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like how it turned out? Would you have done something different? Would you have picked different colors? <laughs> Would you not paint it black? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please check me out there. I post a lot behind the scenes. I posted what colors I was painting it. So it's a little hint for you guys. You can check me out there if you want. Also my email if you guys need to get in contact with me for any reason. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you next episode.